My name is Frank Carrada. I was a professional skateboarder in the 90s. And these are uh, a few of the covers that I had gotten the opportunity to shoot for. Yeah. Uh, this one, this one's like the first cover I ever got, really. It was uh, Strange Notes put out by the NHS skateboard umbrella. And I uh, was a new amateur at the time, about to turn pro for Sims. Okay. And I remember going, this is the cannery ramp. All right. And uh, you can see a little bit of it back there. And I Over remember- the hip? Or no, that's on the extension? Yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah, just on the, the mini there. And um, I just remember shooting with MoFo, feeling a little intimidated because he's kind of hardcore dude. Back yeah. Then, you know, and, um, but I was just, you know, over and over and over, trick, trick, trick. I came from being on power, you know, it's just like that whole <laughs> super consistency thing. And so, um, yeah, probably did this 50 times. And he's like, yeah, I think you got it. And then, uh, yeah, this one was like my first real publication, you know, national, yeah. public, international publication. And it was a trans world cover. And um, I had turned pro for SMA at that point. I had my... my model on them and I was pretty stoked and I remember going this is in, the, in the, like Oceanside Carlsbad area we used to find all kinds of gaps and stuff there and Dave Swift was a photographer that I was always hooking up with yeah and, um, did, yeah so we went to the spot how did you learn that it was a cover uh, more like after the fact like I remember yeah. shooting because we shot a lot right and it would be, uh, you know, hey I think we're gonna use that one tail grab as a cover and it's like what yeah. super sick and I remember my dad living in, at their house at the time, um, you know, him going to the mailbox and getting, like, uh, like, oh, you know, <laughs> so this was a good one. You know, kind of like during my maple era, late, later in the 90s, this was a little bit before that, it was a warp cover and that was in Vista. Okay. Um, I remember 50 that 50s were a big deal, you know, and, and so yeah, I had long hair back then. And then this one, odd warp cover with, you know, kind of all action sports involved but uh, this photo session especially was pretty fun because it was in Escondido kind of near my house um, and we used to skate there at night and I remember Mario Rubicaba and I um, found this spot and so we were just hitting it up and we took Swift there at night and he was always like down to, to lay, in the, lay on the ground in the middle of the night with us this was probably at like you know 11 or 12 and back then we used to skate all day and all night and yeah, that was the stuff yeah. And this was cool a very job. early warp. Did you even yeah. know what warp was back then? Like no, when you were shooting this? Not really. Yeah. It was just like when it first came out, and so um, little snippets of each kind of sport, and so yeah. And are you on foundation by this point? Mm, this was still. I see some. Yeah, some, uh, some cabs, and look at those wheels. This is looking like still SMA. Okay. Yeah, NHS, right before foundation. Gotcha. Yeah. I know. None of, I didn't get a cover while I was on foundation. Huh. Classic covers. What comes to mind, Frank? Um, I think it was probably in the mid '90s. I was on a foundation tour, and um, we'd all kind of been trying to skate the Carlsbad Gap a bunch. Uh -huh. And Markovich just covered of his kickflip that he kind of drew a hand yeah. around it and stuff. Was that's what we saw like while we were on tour? And I remember all of us just like, what, man? Ah, let's go back to Carlsbad right now and try to do stuff. <laughs> but yeah, man. He, yeah, that was the one that was that one stuck out. Just had a moment with other people. Uh, yeah. kind of like really drooling over the, the awesomeness.